Okay, hello. So today we are going to quickly discuss the concept of foreign exchange and the foreign exchange markets. So what is foreign exchange? Let's say I give you this formula. The foreign exchange is the value of one currency in terms of another currency. All right. So what formula? What does this formula show? It shows that one pound can buy two dollars. All right. So uh, this this formula can be read left to right or right to left. Uh, both are possible. Okay, but the important thing is it shows the value of one currency in terms of another currency. Either one pound can buy two dollars or two dollars can buy one pound. All right. So what you need to understand is that the value of the currency for this particular lecture. The value of the currency is linked to the value of goods and services. All right, so uh, I'm not going to go into that detail right now. Just imagine that something happens, and just like there is demand for the product, there is also demand for the currency. Now, let's say the demand for the pound goes up. So please bring in mind the law of demand. Whenever the demand goes up. Okay, uh, not the law of demand, just the, the 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 determinants of demand. Whenever the demand goes up, what happens? The price of that particular product will also increase. All right. So if the demand for the pound goes up, the value of the pound also increases. The pound becomes more powerful. It becomes more expensive. So then the exchange rate is bound to change. So now. After the demand for the pound is gone up, one pound is able to buy three dollars. So what has happened? The pound has become more expensive. The pound has become more powerful. Now read the equation. One pound was previously buying two dollars. One pound can now buy three dollars. The pound has become more expensive. It has become more powerful. So whenever the value of a currency increases because of demand and supply, because the demand is and, and look at it the other way, the dollar previously two dollars could buy one pound. Now you require three dollars to buy the same one pound. What has happened to the dollar? The value of the dollar has gone down. So what happens is that whenever because of demand and supply. The value of a currency goes up. We call it appreciation of currency. And whenever, because of the same demand and supply, the value of the currency goes down, like the value of the dollar has gone down, we call it depreciation of the currency. So this is the fall in value of currency depreciation. This is the increase in value uh, in, in the value of currency. But this is because of demand and supply of the currency. Sometimes what happens is that the value of the currency changes not because of demand and supply, but because of government policy. If the government says that we want the value of our currency to increase, this is not because of demand and supply, and we call it revaluation. The value of the currency has gone up. And if the government says we want the value of the currency to go down, we call it devaluation. All right. So revaluation and devaluation is because of government policy, and uh, appreciation and depreciation is because of demand and supply. All right, we will continue this discussion. I hope you have understood the difference between appreciation, depreciation, and devaluation and devaluation. Thank you very much.